Colin and Zapathy back again with another episode of Tales of Symphonia. Last episode, we did a bunch of shit. Fucked up for Cecil's plans, and a lot of stuff has happened throughout the world. Um, we saved it once again, or at least postponed it, you know, being destroyed. So, um, we're not going to do that cutscene because I want to get to the main story. So, let's go to Atas's house. He's supposed to help us with uh, Colette's angel toxicosis. You, if you're back in here, if you're back here in Tethyala, then the world must be. Actually, I see. So that's what caused a mass earthquake the other day. What? Was there damage on this side too? It seems that the other regions were not greatly affected, but. There were landslides and falling rocks in this area, and because of that, Mythos was. Hey, Mythos, what happened? You're hurt. Ah, uh, this, it's okay. I'm fine now. Did you see the boulders outside? The uh, other day, there was a massive earthquake, and the boulders fell toward me. Mythos saved me, but he was hurt instead. I see. I'm glad you're safe. Yeah, and that's really impressive the way you protected Tabitha like that, Mythos. You saved us before, too. You're a really nice guy, Mythos. Uh, not really. Mythos is a kind person. Yeah, he helped us find Rain when she disappeared, too. You're awesome, Mythos. Thank you. And yeah, nice guy. Hmm. Regarding Colette's illness, it's most likely Chronic Angelus Crystallis Enophysium. Cro chronic Angelus? Rejection of the crystal is said to occur in one out of every million people, but I've heard that the knowledge of the curve was lost long ago. If you could find records from the ancient war, then perhaps. So it all comes back to the ancient war. But where do we go to find records of it? There's an archive building in Cybac that is dedicated to the history of Mythos. Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I've heard of that. Oh yes, I do know about that. Uh, an archive building? I wonder if it will be of any use. If you like, I can show you around there. Yeah, that'd be great. You just want to go with Mythos. <laughs> well, I guess an archive building will be safe enough. Sure, let's go together. I swear to God, I think Mythos and Genus are gay. Well, at least Genus is gay for Mythos. Not too sure about Mythos, but there is some gay shit going on around there. Back to Cybac, guys. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've been here. Let's head up in here. Materials pertaining to Mythos and his companions are on display in this area. Hey, take a look at this. What's up? One of Mythos' companions was afflicted with a disease that crystallizes the body. That sounds like the same as Colette. Colette is sick? Uh, yeah, a little. What happened to that person? Seems it was cured. Then there is a way to cure it, just as Atessa said. I hope that technique has been, hasn't been lost. So what's the cure? It says a unicorn saved the maiden. It's that the unicorn that we got at Lake Umasi. You mean the one that Rain used to learn new healing arts? If so, then we already know the, that those healing arts can't help Colette. I wonder if the unicorn itself is necessary. Now that you mention it, the unicorn did say he lived for healing Martel sickness or something like that. Just as Kratos said, remember the unicorn's words. I wonder who Kratos really is. What are you talking about? He's a traitor. What are you going to do if you trust him and wind up regarding him? I trust Kratos. Yeah. Lord, you're strong. You think so? You can trust someone who's betrayed you once. That's amazing. You feel special. His eyes don't feel hostile when he looks at me. I envy you, Lloyd. I wish I could have been like you. Oh no, you don't want that. If you became like Lloyd, you'd turn into an idiot. Hey, genus! <laughs> yeah, I really envy you. But, how can we find more information on the Carlisle War? I've heard that the royal family has compiled and stored most of the materials concerning Mythos in the Carlisle War. During the Carlisle War, Mythos did have various interactions with the rulers. So, it's Mount Tokyo then, but the Pope will be breathing down our necks, it's dangerous. We don't have the luxury of complaining about that now. 
Yeah, we'll head for Mount Tokyo, but you should go back, Mythos. Anyway, we'll take Mythos back in. It's fine, I can go back myself. But, it's fine, don't you need to hurry? You're going to be infiltrated in the castle, right? So be careful. Yeah, okay then. Let's go, guys. Do they all really believe him? I wonder what he's hiding. What is Zealous hiding? Oh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get backstabbed again, guys. Fuck. I said quick jump. Oh. This is the money. Yep, it's all there. <laughs> How long before the king is dead? Probably another month or so with this poison. It takes a while? I've been told to make it look like he died from an illness. It's slow, but he'll die for sure. Tell his eminence a pope to wait just a little bit longer. I see. I knew there was something wrong when there. Normally healthy king gets sick. What are we gonna do, Lloyd? Isn't it obvious we if we save the king, he'll be in our debt. Let's go. Why can't they just, why can't they just say that they'll save them? Who's there? Who's there? It's the chosen. Damn, it's Zelos. What? It's you, Varley. Damn, I can't have people knowing about the assassination. Die here. Be quiet. I won't forgive you. I'm gonna die here? You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna die here like that damned Alicia? Don't insult Alicia. So it was the link between the Pope and the and Rhode Isle of the five growing cardinals. The Pope is connected to Kunichiwawa as well. The experts in Tatiala passed from Varley to Rodal, and then the experiments related to the Kushis crystals were passed from Rodal to Varley, and ultimately to the Pope. The Pope probably asked them to assassinate the king in exchange for his cooperation. Insolence. Alright, let's get the Pope. <laughs> it's gonna let that dude just fucking rot there. That's awesome. Alright, we need to head to the Pope first. That's where we need to head to, is the Pope. We'll do the cutscenes after we're done with the main story, guys. I know you guys are probably going to get mad that I don't do them, blah blah blah. I mean, they're not really that... I mean, all they do is just talk about the main story, really. You're late. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. What? What are you people doing here? We have something we want to ask you about. You're poisoning his maj majesty, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. You're certainly a stubborn little liar. Is there an antidote? I don't know anything. Don't move. Then, let's have you drink this poison. It doesn't take effect immediately, anyway. Uh, alright. It's in the desk drawer in the desk. Here it is. I have something I've been wanting to ask you, too. Why did you try to have Kate executed? She's your daughter. Sh shut up. What do you know? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, so that's why I'm asking. Are you stupid or something? You have a half-elving daughter... Why would you take the initiative in creating rules to oppress half-elves? When I was young, I also thought the oppression of half-elves was wrong. Then why? The church exists to offer salvation to all, does it not? Are you capable of understanding the terror of growing older? 
while your child who supposedly shares your blood does not? That's not Kate's fault, that's the kind of speech these half-elves are. Yes, and that is why they are shunned. I understand the feelings of those who persecute them, because my daughter is a half-elf, she terrifies me. I just called the guards. If the Chosen dies here, the church will be mine in both name and reality. Will the church of Martel last without the Chosen? Hmm. We have Celeste. <laughs> so you did intend to drag my sister into this, you pathetic old geezer. It's your fault. Why is a worthless and irresponsible man like you the Chosen? If I weren't for you, if it weren't for you, no one would have interfered with my half-elf banishment project. Why do humans treat us like this? Those who are different must be eliminated. Shut up. It doesn't matter if you're a half-elf, a human, or whatever. No matter who or what you are, once you're born in this world, you have the right to live. Don't move. Hey, he's gonna get away. I'll take care of them. Damn, he got away. Ch chosen, I'm sorry. Please prepare yourself. Ah! It's an angel. Angel came down here from heaven. It's the second coming of Spiritia. Look, you heretical deeds. I've brought down an emissary of Crucius. Chosen one. Then this must truly be. Yes, she is an angel of death and destruction. Spiritia has returned. P please forgive us. Oh, great angel. Uh, um... What should I do? Hey, what's going on? Don't worry, and just follow my lead. Oh, holy angel, how shall we deal with these creatures? Colette, say you're gonna kill them. But, but... It's okay, just say it like you're in command. Um, um... Die! P please forgive us. Holy one, please spare their lives in my name. I will defeat those who oppose you and once again act as a chosen to spread the teachings of Martel. Please. Say you'll forgive them. Uh, okay, I shall forgive you. Did you hear that? The angel has recognized the Chosen as the true holy will of the church. Leave the, at once and capture my enemies, the Pope and his private soldiers, the Papal Knights. Y yes, yes, sir. Revoke the wanted status of the Chosen and his companions at once. Yes, sir. Everyone, do as the Chosen commands. Wow, everyone did what you said, Zelos. We even were saved by the legend of Spiritra. Isn't that related is that related to Spiritra, the chosen of Silveron? Beats me. If you want to know the details, go read the books in the church or something. Anyway, Spiritra is famous for saving the chosen by killing the king who tried to dispose of the chosen. Hmm, kinda like what's going on now. Does that mean they won't be chasing us anymore? The church should be fine now, anyway. What's left in his majesty? We need to let him know that he's been poisoned. Alright. Wait. Princess, please let us see his majesty. I don't know anything about the return of spiritual, but my father is sick. My father only wanted to protect Tefeala. We know. Are you aware that his majesty has been poisoned by the Pope? That can't be. It's true. The Pope has run away upon being investigated for it. We must hurry and neutralize the poison. Please move. Looks like this is definitely the antidote. Oh, mm. Father. Ah, what? It looks like he's regained consciousness. Your Majesty, do you recognize me? The traitor, Zealous, have you come to kill me? No, Zealous saved you. Traitor, yes, that does suit me. Anyway, we were set up by the Pope. We have no intention of harming Satyala. Even if the ruling family were to doubt him, the church, soldiers, and citizens will certainly side with Zealous and the Chosen. We have the return of Spiritual with us, after all. What do you want? We want to see the documents concerning the hero Mythos and the Carlon War that are maintained by the royal family. They are stored in the archive on the second floor. Do you want? Do what you want with them. Do not show yourselves in front of me again. I am tired. I want nothing more to do with the church's power struggles. You're just being selfish. It's all right, kid. Then, Your Majesty, we shall allow ourselves access. Oh, what a kind of dick is he? I'm assuming this is this is the record place or whatnot. No, this is the room that we got. We're about to get captured in. Maybe it's across. 
Okay, guess I can't go across, gotta go up. Uh, head up. This way, and in here. All right, let's start looking through the books. It's no use. I can't believe we searched through all of this and still haven't found yet. Are there any other books? I'm gonna give up. There has to be a way. Lord, thank you, but it's okay. You can stop. This is in this is angelic language. No, they're ancient elven leathers. Wait, this may be it. I certainly didn't expect to find the book that way. Colette's cleanliness seems to truly be blessed. Professor, what does it say? Wait. In order to prevent the erosion of the Crucius Crystal, a mana fragment and zircon are fused using Boltzmann's technique to create a rune crest. Fibers from the mana leaf herb were placed on the crest to protect against the crystallization caused by the illness. Uh, the rest of this is just theory. So in other words, we need a mana fragment, zircon, and a unicorn horn, right? Mana leaf herb, then we make something called a rune crest. And attach that to the key crest will suppress the crystal's activity. Who's going to make that? Well, a dwarf, I guess. What's happening to Colette's body? It says it's called Chronic Angelus Crystallis Enophysium, just like Otessa's diagnosis. It's an illness that causes the entire body to become a crucius crystal. Okay, now we have some hope. But there's not much time. It says that epidermal crystallization begins within a few months. In the final stages of the disease cause the body to be completely crystallized. The internal organs start to crystallize once the epidermis has crystallized, and then finally, the subject dies. Suppose there's no points in trying to menace words. Yes, exactly. Then let's hurry. Cute girls deserve to live long. Where are the materials? My company once handled Zircon. If we go to the main Lazarino, Lazarino building, we should be able to find information on it and where it is stored. Mana Leaf Herb is probably in Heimdale. The Elven Village? Yes, I think I've heard the name of the plant before when I was a child. But the people of Heimdale forbid anyone that is not an elf to enter the village. Why? It seems there was some trouble between them and humans a long time ago. These days, no one enters without a permit from the King of Tateala. I wonder if the King will give us a permit. Who knows? He doesn't seem to want to see me. We could try asking Princess Hilda. Assuming we can get the Mana Leaf Herb, what about the Mana Fragment? What is it anyway? Beats me. In the scriptures of the Church of Martel, there is a passage that says, The colossal manna of great motherland Darius Carlon rained down upon the earth and fragments gave him birth of all things. So that it's in Darius Carlon? There's no proof, bud. And that's our main that's our enemy's main base. Let's do that later. First we'll go to either Honda or the Zarnum Company in Altamira. Let's go ask Princess Hilda, and then I'm going to end the episode there. Um, I guess not. I'm in an episode here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. My name is Colin, and this is Apathy. I'm signing out. See you guys later.